Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Another well simple TFSA trade portfolio update. It's been a while since I've shared the portfolio update. Now I have been sharing my purchases over on the community tab. So make sure you're subscribed, follow along the community tab. You'll see as I post uh, the different stocks and ETFs that I am purchasing. Let's make this a quick one. I haven't actually looked in the market today, but I think uh, from what I was reading, it's going to be a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a run up today because the Fed is meeting down in the States. We're probably, I think, priced in with a 75 basis point rate increase down for the United States. Uh, we'll see what happens in Canada going forward next month. Let's just jump straight in the portfolio and see how we're doing. Right, here we are in the TFSA using the Wealthsimple app. As usual, we're down, uh, not a good start to the month. Obviously, we're seeing down 4.87% of the month. Let's just go through and just do a runs once over. We'll come back to see how the portfolio is doing today and how it's doing, been doing in the long term. Uh, we do have a little bit available to trade. There's been some dividends that come through. Just letting that sit there. Um, we'll go through, let's do our all time total value on this one. So BEP.UN, the Brookfield Renewables. This is one I want to purchase more, but it's getting pricey. Uh, we're actually up on our 12 shares, 8.81%, which is nice. That's nice to see a little bit of green, at least in the portfolio. Uh, BTCY, that's a Bitcoin uh, yield. ETF, uh, we have 124 shares. This one I will be building on as well, averaging into there. We're down 29.77%. Uh, happy with the dividends on there. They're still kind of flowing through. And I think a long-term hold for this one, I am quite optimistic. Uh, CMC, we're writing this one off. This one, 94.75% down. That is basically, we're worth uh, $10, down 176. It's not even worth selling at this point. We're just gonna ride that one out and see what happens. Uh, ETC. And this is the Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF. Uh, I still will be averaging to that just to have a position, a little bit of position in Ethereum, but uh, the main focus for my portfolio going forward is going to be BTCY. Uh, we are down, unfortunately, that one. Uh, Green Lane Renewables, 100, uh, sorry, we have a thousand shares of that one, 100. Uh, down 38.3%. This is our long-term long -term hold on this one. Optimistic with that, with this company as well. Uh, and I'll still be adding into that one slowly, but not gonna be the focus for the next little bit. I will get into the, the couple of uh, ETFs that are going to be a focus. Focus. Uh, REI.UN, 25 shares. That's the Rio Can Real Estate Investment Trust. We'll be adding to that one as well, but we're just down 5.37%. I think that's okay considering what the market has been doing. Uh, RNW, this one just can't catch a break. Down 15. They're moving again, down 15.79%. 40 shares in that. The dividends are good though. They've been regular dividends. Dividends haven't changed, so I will still be averaging, averaging into this one as well. Uh, my portfolio has quite a bit of renewable uh, energy stocks in there, so I think uh, long term. I am optimistic for that. Uh, Solar Alliance Energy, this one is down 35.14%, 810 shares. That being said, they just got a new contract I read yesterday in the news for a small contract with the US uh, military. So maybe they'll pick up some more of those contracts and that could be quite lucrative for this one. We'll see how that uh, how that one pans out. Uh, 810 shares, $85.05. It's okay. This is, these are just kind of fun, fun plays on that one. Uh, Slate Office REIT, 106 shares. We're down 12.68%. Still regular monthly dividends on that. We'll be adding to this position as well. Uh, tell us, tell us, here we go in the green, finally something again in the green, uh, up 1.86% on 18 shares of TELUS. The channel favorite is, uh, is TELUS. Now VDY, this is one I'm going to be focusing on for the next little while. This is our monthly dividend, uh, Vanguard uh, Canadian High Dividend Yield ETF, uh, up 2.97% on 64 shares. Uh, we'll be adding to that one when I do my next deposit. Uh, keep an eye on the community tab for that. I'll make a little post once that uh, does get purchased. Uh, last one, VFV, that's a Vanguard S&P 500 index ETF, down 5.84%. As you see, the market's open here, so we're changing on stuff here. Uh, that one will be dollar cost averaging into, nothing to uh, just to kind of set that one. That's again, long-term, all every all the positions and stocks, ETFs, everything in my portfolio is for long-term, 10 years out, thinking retirement, so not too worried about necessarily daily fluctuations. That's why we can kind of almost slow down a little bit on the updates, we're seeing, seeing it happen, but uh, it's, um, it's 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 a rough time out there obviously but uh we'll 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 get through it let's just go through on the day so here we are uh, the day we're basically i mean even down a little bit four dollars and five cents uh 0.04 percent on the day this will probably change as i'm tapping through uh but on the week 2.63 percent down on the month 4.89 percent down and this is where it gets kind of oh uh, well actually we're doing okay on the past three months up 1.52 percent but if we look in the past year we're going to be down 14 percent uh that's something that's hard to uh, hard to look at but again long-term investment and not investing anything that uh, i need to access in the short term so we're just going to hold these all our positions we're down 14.02 uh, percent i think considering the positions that i do hold a lot of riskier uh, investments in this um, in my tfsa uh, i think we're doing okay not too 
worried about that. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. It's always appreciated how everybody else's portfolio is doing. Alrighty, just a quick update. Now, before we go, I just want to thank everybody that has subscribed and following on the channel. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. So that's pretty awesome. When I started this channel, the goal was to get to a thousand subscribers, which is great. Uh, I do appreciate everybody that has been following along. Uh, posting your comments to the channel. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, sharing the sharing the uh, the videos on the channel to all your friends that might be interested would be great. If you could get us to a thousand subscribers, that would be awesome. We're so, 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 so close. Uh, thanks so much everybody. Have a great rest of the week. We'll do another update later on in the week. Uh, and until then, hopefully the market gets a little bit greener after this, uh, the Fed announcement today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.